Yeah, hey, what's going on? It's me, Jay. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about Nipsey Hussle. Uh, your brother Nipsey Hussle has now passed away. And um, it's really sad for hip-hop because not so long ago, a couple of <clears throat> weeks ago or whatever, we lost Tech 9 It was a while ago. About a year or so ago that we lost XXX Tentacion. So it's like <clears throat> we got a new generation of rappers that we losing. You know what I mean? When I was coming up, of course, the deaths of Biggie and Tupac really affected us, you know, as hip hop fans. And, you know, we never really got over it because you got a bunch of little biggins and biggies and Tupacs around. And in the West Coast, where Nipsey was from, you know, he was holding it down. After Game retired, he was holding it down, him and Kendrick. So, but for the street niggas, you know, uh... Kendrick was was kind of above their level, but Nipsey was holding it down. But one of the interesting things about Nipsey that I didn't know, as somebody told me, my boy Sean, was that Nipsey was, <clears throat> even though he was himself a crip, he was working on uh, working on ending the violence between Crips and Bloods that has plagued the city of Los Angeles since the 1970s and spread to other parts of the country, including where I'm from, New York. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of rappers, they, they become gang members and they glorify it, you know what I mean? Like, like a Cardi B, a Dipset. Uh, 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 Takashi Six Nine, you know, a Little Wayne. They they glorify it, but it ain't nothing to glorify, man. We out here killing our own people, man. You know, and and, and what happened with Nipsey Hussle is an example of why you can't go back to your neighborhood because you got snakes that can't wait to attack you. I mean, like. Like, people say, like, with the really successful rappers, like Jay-Z, 50, all them, all them dudes, right? They be like, oh, they never go back to their hood. They never go back to where they came from. Well, of course they don't. I mean, you got so many haters in your own hood that would kill you. Like, look when 50 first came out, Right? And everybody was giving 50 accolades for bringing the real hip hop back after the after Ja Rule went soft, right? And Bangham Smurf came out and Bangham Smurf said 50 wasn't shit. You know, you know what I mean? And like, there's a 50 controversy going on too about the homosexuality thing. 50 was made some homophobic comments, and since power got big, you know. You gotta watch what you say on Twitter, man. Ask Roseanne Barr. She 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 no longer has a TV show because of the shit she said on Twitter or something. Racist shit. You gotta watch what you say. But and another thing too. I talk about watching what you say. Nipsey Hussle was trying to make a a a was trying to make a fucking documentary about Dr. Sebi, the doctor of alternative medicine down in Honduras that was friends with Lisa Left Eye Lopez from the R&B group TLC. Okay? And he was going to make this documentary on a cure homeopathic cure for various diseases, especially AIDS and HIV. 
you know. And the government and the pharmaceutical companies, right? They don't want. They don't want um, this knowledge getting out to the general public, and they know that a, a person like Nipsey is a is a is a gangster rapper. So if he get killed in a gang shootout, you know nobody's gonna care. What you think Trump's gonna gonna care? See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, like. When I talked about the Jesse Smollett situation, Jesse Smollett got off, right? But um he got off. But now it makes all rappers look like like complete savages and animals cuz that's what they think of rappers anyway. You know what I mean? The savages and animals. So they don't care that, you know, Nipsey has something to say to his community. And Nipsey was trying to change the world. He was trying to get this message out to the world. And you know what? Wild Out might be corny. And Nick Cannon might be, can't be a good rapper or whatever. And Drumline was alright. But you know what I respect about Nick? Picking up the slack. And finishing Nipsey Hussle documentary on Dr. Sebi and, and HIV. Because this is something that needs to be said. You know what I mean? We, we need to hear Dr. Sebi's voice. Dr. Sebi was a legend down in Honduras, man. A legend. So many rappers. Prodigy. Lisa Lefta Lopez. I think even Tupac, man. You know, they went down there and they... they they learned from the guru, man. He was a guru. He was like one of them old tribal medicine type dudes you see on in movies. You know what I mean? But yeah. But you know, yeah. I.P. Nipsey Hussle. You know what I mean? I'm from New York. And I liked a lot of your songs. Later, bro.